Robotic surgery was something which I read about in books in 2010, 2011 time. Yeah. In 2011, I first saw a live demonstration of robotic surgery during a conference and I would say I was bowled over by the, by the precise way of the instruments being able to dissect around the vessels and nerves to do the lymph node dissection and I think that is, the, that is I, I, even now I clearly remember the moment I was bowled over by robotic surgery. So the first time you got to put your head in a console and look inside. That was in 2012. I, in 2011, I first saw a robotic surgery happening in a screen. Then I, that time I decided I somehow have, I have to learn this. So at that time in India, there were very few systems available. So the surgeon who demonstrated the surgery was Dr. Walter Gottlieb. Single site, you put all of your instruments crossing through one incision and you perform the the surgery with the robot. So I kind of approached him and asked whether I could come to his center and learn about robotic surgery. So I got a scholarship and went on to Montreal, Canada for six months to see and learn about robotic surgery in 2012. And yes, it was a life-changing experience for me to see and learn about robotic surgery at that point of time. So it was the initial times where people were, even cancer surgeons were still doing open surgery and was thinking anything medically invasive is bad for cancer surgery. So I went back uh, to India in 2012. At that time, my institution did not have a robot. We were still doing cancer surgeries, mainly the open method. Laparoscopy was there, but not widely adopted for gynae cancers at that moment. So. There was discussion about getting a robotic system, but many surgeons in my institution self opposed getting a robotic system. Said they said they will not use it, but finally we could get a system in early 2015. Till now, nobody initially I was afraid to talk this out loud. I've looked into my data. I'm presenting it the first time. I'm presenting it here. What's important about conferences like this one? So this conference is different in the way it is a multidisciplinary conference. It is focusing on robotic surgery, but it is not focusing on a single site. Like I'm a gynae cancer surgeon. So I go to gynae cancer conferences. I hear only about gynae cancer. This is a cross speciality conference, multidisciplinary surgeons across specialties come on and demonstrate the way uh, new techniques that they're doing. It's wonderful, fantastic learning. It's much more than what I would get from a gynae conference alone. So Dr. Gottlieb was your mentor. Yes. But you have become a mentor as well. What's, what's that like? Uh, it's nice to give back. I, I enjoy mentoring a lot. So once, this is something which I'm very passionate about, doing robotic surgery and teaching robotic surgery. So in India at that point of time when I started, there were not uh, many surgeons who were doing gynae surgeries. And we could kind of, uh, what do you say, set the trend, set the pace in India about gynae surgeries. Till that time, robot was dominated by urologists and we could show that, you know, yes, gynae surgeries, gynae surgeons can use the robot effectively. And hence the demand picked up and I could go across India at that point of time to train a lot of surgeons to do robotic surgery. And many of them are doing really well and some of them are mentors in themselves now. Robotic surgery has given me an edge in tackling these cancers. So what happened was when you traditionally, even now, when patients are coming to me with a diagnosis of cancer, they expect a open surgery. I came in touch with the foundation when I started robotic surgery in 2015. I know I, I saw about foundation in 2012, but I actually started closely interacting with the foundation in 2015 and uh, it the foundation and what equity technologies kind of brought robotic surgery to india and was very instrumental in training many of us in the initial part because any support that we needed at that point the foundation could provide us in bringing surgeons from abroad to train us or uh, then in further training by giving us fellows to Train. So I think Foundation had done a fantastic job in kind of nurturing the growth of robotic surgery in India. Surgery has changed. It's not just our hands anymore. It is much more. So it's changing a lot. 
and now we have just the robotic platform which doesn't have proper AI integration but we have a lot of technologies which we can use now to what do you say enhance our surgery to provide better benefit for the patients and it is just going to increase in the future there are an umpteen number of possibilities I don't think I can list uh, everything now but there's umpteen possibilities and it's very, very exciting field right now.